What's up guys, toned up. Here's another update on my case tractor 431. And I'm working on cleaning it up, try to get it painted. So far I have removed the uh, gas tank along with the battery holder and box. and then strip down all the paint so I can get a new coat of paint and I found out right here is a small crack that I need to weld and now I start scraping some of the dirt off the uh, engine transmission area a lot of dirt and build up grimes and everything throughout the year I've been sitting here and I'm gonna take off this engine cover remove all the paint and sand it down and paint it as well and then anything you require painting I'm gonna run it over with some new orange paint once I get everything painted then I can go ahead and work on the uh, front loader which I got over there. Then I'll need to fix that up as well before I install it onto this machine. All right, let me go ahead and continue on cleaning up. Once I remove the engine cover, this is what I discover. There's rust in there, water got in there, and there's still some kind of foamy stuff on here. I think it's like water and oil mixed together. There's all kind of stuff in here, even bugs too. Definitely gotta clean it up. And also there's a lot of uh, carbon build up in here. It's like a lot. So far, this is what I got with everything we move. Yeah, there's definitely water got into the filter area and along with the engine cover. We'll remove this later on so this way I don't get any stuff to fall in there. But I just keep on cleaning it and I'm gonna repaint everything and I'm gonna try to put everything back together and clean everything up. I don't know too much about 
diesel engine. I hope I don't need to adjust anything. But hopefully all the, uh, the valve, all the gaps and whatever you call them, everything is uh, in order. So I don't need to do any adjustment. So far the tractor runs fine. Let me show you what I have done so far. I have removed some of the parts over here and start painting the, uh, the engine and transmission. I use a paint brush and I just paint one section at a time. If needed, I will remove some of the parts to get to the area I need to paint and just clean it with the brush because this uh, tractor was built in 1960 something. There's a lot of dirt and grime stuck on it for decades. So it's pretty easy to do with the uh, paint brush. And I have a can of um, tractor paint. Basically, I just using a paint brush and paint the area I need it. And just work until I get the whole thing all painted. I just want to get the uh, the front area painted and fix whatever needs to be fixed. Once the uh, front loader is installed, I will have limited access or no access to some of this area that I plan to work on or paint. So now is the best time to do it. And I went ahead and removed the uh, front cover the radiator I have access to some of these parts right here that I can go ahead and clean up and paint I use one of these big metal brush and work and get all the uh, get all the uh, rust and uh, and dirt off of it and also have like, smaller brushes that I use that I can get to some of the uh, tighter spot. Now, on this side right here, most of them are painted already. I probably need to remove this thing to just get to the back part of it. But I'm, I'm glad I'm, I took it apart. I disassembled the uh, Assemble the alternator. You can see there's a lot of dirt and everything on here, and I need to sand it down, clean up, clean up all these uh, contacts and everything. And look how much like dirt build up in there. I'll check. You can see the uh, the metal, the copper wire is exposed. I hope it still works. So once I clean everything up, I'll make sure that all the bearings still good. And this is a piece attached to it. I believe we hook up to the, uh, maybe the odometer. It was dry, went ahead and took everything apart, clean it, re-grease it. And I'm gonna do the same with them, some of these parts here. I'm gonna clean it. Give it a new coat of paint, then reassemble it. All right, so let me uh, show you all the stuff I have done to it. I basically remove all the uh, parts on it and start painting. Almost everything's off the uh, tractor. Let me show you. So the main reason I took up this uh, steering support assembly area because 
I got the whole tractor painted and everything nice and clean with a nice orange color. Then I got this spot right here I couldn't get to and you know you got a lot of dirt stuck on here that wouldn't come off. Actually dirt and grease hardened up. So and having the tractor all nice and neat and this is just an eyesore so I'm kind of and you know so I took everything apart so I can clean this area and paint it and also check make sure everything is just uh, okay so far it's almost ready to reassemble I got all the parts painted already but I do want to uh, ask you guys do you know what kind of motor oil this can take it has a diesel engine on it so I was told by someone that it doesn't take regular motor oil. I was told it takes um, diesel motor oil, but I couldn't figure out what kind it is. So if you know, uh, shoot a comment down below. Appreciate it. I want to install this one end loader onto the uh, tractor. I need to uh, fix some of the uh, I need to weld a uh, certain area here because it's cracked. Then once everything is done, this thing is heavy. I'm probably gonna remove the uh, front arm and along with the uh, the hydraulic rams to lighten it up so I can install this onto the tractor. But it's still heavy, I'm not quite sure um, how I'm going to get it over the, the front wheels on the tractor to um, install it. Any ideas guys? Let me know. I hope I can get it done uh, when spring's here. I want to use it to walk around my yard. So that pretty much for now. Um, I'll keep you up to date as far as what I have done so far. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.